So I've been trying to find my perfect topper and I made the Malio card again. So let me tell you about it. I'm Mari with Mari Sews and welcome back. As I mentioned earlier, I really kind of struggle with toppers. I really love the idea of a comfortable cardigan that you can just kind of throw on. Um, but for some reason, I just, I haven't found one that I feel is me. Now, I did make this Mimi G cocoon sweater and I really love it, but it's not a cardigan. To me, a cardigan kind of represents like a comfortable little sweater that you can just kind of throw on over anything be super comfortable and warm in, but look really kind of pulled together as well. So I've been looking for the perfect pattern for me, and I think this one comes close. So this is the Melio cardigan by Mika's Digital Patterns. Let me show you a couple pictures here. So this was the first pattern that I had tested with Mika's Digital, and it came together pretty quickly. I mean, it was few pieces, I threw it together in no time, and I used a um, black poly jacquard that had like some good stretch in it for it. You know, what's interesting about Mika's Digital Patterns is that they actually, I believe, go up to a 6X. So they started at um, extra, extra small, and they go up to a size 6X, which I think is a wonderful size range and it's very inclusive. Um, so they get super big kudos from me for that. The cardigan that I had made up, I actually did in an extra large, but quite honestly, if I were to make up this pattern again, I would make it in just a straight large size. Um, I felt that it was a little bigger at the shoulders than I would have wanted to, but I tend to be a little more narrow up top and wider at the hip area. So that's nothing that's really new for me. Again, their pattern sewed up very quickly. It was few pieces, but the version that I had was actually a PDF pattern. And so, I mean, you're just gonna have to know that you're gonna have to tape these suckers together. And I don't care what pattern maker it is, taping, paper together is a drag. But after you have your garment and you know, it's with a fabric that you made and you're feeling great in it, it's like having a baby. You forget about the pain that you went through when you were taping all of those pages together and you just rejoice in the love that you found for your new garment. <laughs> it's, not, it's not really like having a baby, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you get the idea. I actually sent some pictures to my mom of uh, my Melio cardigan and she liked it so much that she demanded that I send it to her. So mama's got a new cardigan <laughs> and I'm waiting for pictures, mom. Thank you. So that's the Melio cardigan. I'll put some links to it in the description box below in case you're interested in checking it out or checking out some of their other um, patterns that they have. They've got some really cute ones. The cinnamon top, I haven't made yet, but it's on my list. It's a cute reversible top. I'm gonna have to make that one up. Another topper that's actually been on my list for a while now is this cardigan right here. And this is uh, Vogue 1643. And I really love this view right here, that long one with the Gucci trim. Isn't that cute with the pockets? And honestly, what I think I'm really liking about this pattern itself is that, well, I think it has a little bit more structure than your typical cardigan. Um, and I think that's what's really drawing my eye to this one. So this one's also on my list of stuff to make. Let me know if you've made cardigans and what your favorite pattern is because really I'd like to check out a couple more until I finally find the one that I feel fits me. So please let me know what your favorite ones are because I really would like to check out a couple of other ones. Well, thank you for hanging with me. If you liked hanging out, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and click that bell so that way you know the next time there's a new video. Until next time, I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.